tell you, this is for all the college commentators, sports analysts, sports experts, sports experts. <laughs> this is why I did that. I don't understand why they don't see um, sports people who are their prime, out of their prime, and older than they should be in the sport. Like, for instance, Maria Shriver Popa, 19 years in NA um, tennis, and they were surprised she lost to, tonight to a 30 year old um, Dutch player. So, John McEnroe um, and Chrissy Ever and anybody who is on ESPN, not everybody can live forever and be a good player, like a friend of mine, Doug Miller, who was 48 years old this summer and 21 minutes into the game, scored a goal. That's what professional experts in the icons in the sport do. If um, Roger Federer, Maria Sharapova, um, yes, and Novak, um, Rafa, and the Balto and Murray and um, um, all of them are really good players. And Juan the Balto, I forgot, he is good too. They know how to win games, matches in the 30s. They have proven they won. Roger had a good year last, last year. But the only thing he won this year is Australian Open. Rafa won this French Open. And, um, the guy who won the Wilmington of uh, Novak. But they are still continually getting better and better and better and playing well. You cannot expect Maria Sharapova and Roger Padra, Andy Murray, all of them. Um, come back and play good when they haven't even won a single um, thing that this year. Maria, Roger, are the prime. Andy can't, coming back from the injury. Juan Depolta, Stan, and um, Novak are coming back from the injury. They definitely are playing well and playing like they can win. <coughs> Rafa, one French Open, he looks like he can win the US Open. But Roger is out of his prime. He's um, late 30s. He didn't need to win another match. It's not an upset, John McEnroe. The guy who beat him has been playing on the ground leagues. Doesn't mean he's bad. It just means he wasn't right for the ATP. So Roger had his hands full. So what? The guy said he was a Roger was a hero to him. He knew Roger's game. Great, good for him. But him being Roger is not an upset. It just proves Roger is not king and a god and an icon of the sport. And um, Maria Sharapova, she, why has she done lately? She hasn't even won a major. The only issue she had is she was caught doing drugs and she um, was punished missing a year for doing drugs. You should not um, avoid drug, drug users either. And the Williams sisters, Again, what have they done lately? Um, yeah, Serena's doing well this year, and her, her sister says she's doing better than she ever been. But what if she loses tomorrow? Doesn't mean it's an upset, it just means she's out of her prime, and she's not as good as you all think she is. You guys need to think about who is good and who has proven to win the U.S. Open instead of playing favoritism in the other sports. 
um, cycling. People thought Chris Film would win the um, Tour de France. Nope. He wasn't that good. Even when John Thomas proved to be the better man and strong man, and Chris told him to go ahead and win. The press really wanted Chris Film to win. What the fuck? People, stop paying favoritisms in sports, including Olympics. The NBC coverage, they were so popular, so favoritism to U.S. Play, play, players and athletes. They haven't even proven they can win. Lucky for them, Kiki Randall proved she can help bring back um, a medal. Thank God it was a goal too. Yippee! But all these sports people who are playing favoritism, go screw yourself. Not everybody wants favoritism in our sports.